Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly reading for July 15th through the 23rd. That was a song that I wrote for someone very special. It's called Clara's Song. Your rune this week is the Fihu rune, the rune of wealth and abundance. That's always awesome. We have agate, stability, grounding, supportive, and is known as the strength to carry on stone. We have obsidian, which is repels negativity, helps with manifestation, is truth enhancing. And we have chrysocolla, which is all about compassion, opens the heart to love, points to opportunities, cleanses the aura and aligns the chakras and heals broken hearts. Your spirit animal this week is the hummingbird, which is all about love. The stone people card is Coco Pelli, who tells you to bring some humor into the situation and also um, whatever seeds that you plant this week for your future will come to fruition. You have the counting coup, the victory card. That's awesome. The wise one says to grow within the current situation, not the past, not the future, the current situation. Be bold and make the first move. And giraffe spirit reminds you to see the big picture. Ooh, we got our favorite card, the stone people card. Records and knowing revealed. So your stones are very important this week. The elder says to move beyond ancestral patterns. Just because you grew up a certain way does not make that way correct or right for you. Move beyond those patterns. Your hard work is paying off. And oh yay, Buffalo Spirit. The abundant universe will provide, and that's what your rune is saying as well. Oh, wow, you've got some powerful cards. You've got Shaman's Death. That's awesome. Something that no longer serves you will, is going to be removed from your life and, and replaced with something that is very good for you, that is much better. Medicine Guardian says to be open to healing information. Sister Moon says the emotions are running high. So be a little careful with that. Stag Spirit says to take the lead. Oh, we have the power place. Earth connection and empowerment. You need to spend time in nature, really um, strengthening that connection. 
And that's what will give you the power, the strength, the energy for everything else. The peacekeeper says, let go of the need to be right. Everyone has uh, their own opinion. A personal issue reaches resolution. And that got, ties right in with the death and rebirth here. Something ends so that something new can come. And electric ill spirit is also a very powerful card. Bring your ideas to life. That goes right along with the Coco Pally card. Saying that the seeds that you plant now will come to fruition. Okay, so we have our agate, which is all about stability, the strength to carry on. It's very grounding. So we're going to put that under our earth connection here. Then we have the obsidian, which repels negativity, but it, uh, it also helps bring in, it helps manifest. So we're going to put that on electric ill spirit, bring your ideas to life, manifest those. Then the chrysocolla, which is all about compassion and heals broken hearts. We're going to put that one on our hummingbird, which is all about love. And then we have our rune of wealth and abundance, and we're putting that right on buffalo. Buffalo is always a great card to get. And your quote for this week is, Kindness is a language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. That was from Mark Twain. That goes right along with your Chrysocolla. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Peace, love, and light. Until next time.